Fox in the death of a Knoxville woman appeared in court today. 22 year old Denishka Mejia was found dead at a South Knoxville home two weeks ago. A day before police found her body, Mejia filed a rape report against one of those suspects. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman was in court today and Maria, can you tell us what's next in this case? Yes, Brittany, this is just the start of a long legal process. Today, the suspect were arraigned. They met for the first time with their court appointed lawyers. In a Knox County criminal courtroom, justice for Danishka Mejia is just beginning. <laughs> Three suspects charged in her death appear together in front of a judge, seen for the first time out of their jail clothes. Division One Judge Steve Sword read them their rights and assigned them each a court-appointed attorney. Marquise Ellis, Latuan Osborne, and Edward Wilson are charged in the case. They face several charges, including first-degree murder, kidnapping, and rape. Osborne and Wilson could face enhanced punishment because of ties to gangs. Prosecutors could decide within the next 60 days. If they say yes, the duo could face sentence to life without parole or the death penalty. Sebastián Mejías grew up with Danishka in Costa Rica. The two spent part of their lives together. He urges the public to remember the young life that was taken. Questions about how Danishka died remain, and answers likely won't come out until testimony begins. Danishka's family was not in court. As a thousand miles away, they gathered to honor her life in Costa Rica. Now, Maria, we do know that there were the three suspects in court. There's also a fourth suspect in this case. Yes, Brittany, and that is Angela Greenberg. She is the mother of another suspect, Latuan Osborne. She will be arraigned in two weeks. Her charges involve tempering with evidence and accessory after the fact. So what is next for the three suspects who were in court today? As for Ellis, Osborne and Wilson, they'll be back with their lawyers in June. Their prosecutors will have an update on the suspect will face enhanced punishment. Maria, thank you so much.